the next boy. I'm the next sugar, right? They can hate me. It, it is what it is. Hopefully, it can come back again with another great fighter. Hopefully, he's the one we all want. You guys know who he is. Who is he? We all want the winner of Shakur Stevenson and Jamal Herring. Let's do it. Okay, you gonna be in Atlanta? Are you gonna be in Atlanta? I don't know. I don't know. I might invite me. I'm, I'm, I'm going there. Let's do this. Okay. We know what you want. Will that make you feel better, the winner of that? Yeah, of course. You know, they're great fighters. They're great champions. You know, the best have to fight the best. And let the, let the best man win that night. Do you have a timetable for that? It doesn't matter. Well, coming up, I'm going to rest a week and I'm going to stay back in the gym. This fight was harder for you than you thought. I can almost do a backflip like, like Teofimo Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go next? I don't know. I trained so hard for this fight. I've been training for four years since the pandemic started. Any champion out there, I heard Shakur Stevenson wants to fight. Let's do it. I just want to. I just want to keep on fighting and give the fights the fans what they want. And who do you want to fight next? I say that was truly honestly. Um, I'll fight with whoever, whenever. You know, um, I'm not scared of fighting no other fighter. I'm ready for whoever other champions. I, I wish to unify and fight other fighters like com coming fighters like um, Shakur Stevens has been calling me out and I want to prove that you know that we're not ducking nobody you know I just want to continue fighting that's what we do and any op any opponent out there you know I'm willing to fight I would love to bring a fight back to my hometown where I turned pro but um, we'll have to see right now it was a long camp it's been a full year since the pandemic started um, I mean, I've been calling his name since 126. I'm not going to stop calling his name. Uh, that performance right there made me want to fight him even more. That's the only fight next. He just said my name um, after his fight. Uh, I was, Like I said, I was his mandatory at 126. He vacated, moved up. Now it's the only fight to make. That's the biggest fight at 130 pounds. Let's make it happen. I mean, he's been calling about this for a minute. So. Yep. How long have you been calling about this? Since 2018, for three years. That was Oscar Valdez last night, except in the Shakur Stevenson fight, like he did months ago. Then, as usual, he turns around and ducks Shakur Stevenson for the million times. That's the definition of a duck on steroids. How are you going to be on steroids and still be a duck? Because we all know. Oscar Valdez should have been fighting Shakur Stevenson last night. Oscar Valdez pretty much ducked Shakur Stevenson while he was on steroids. Therefore, we shall see if Oscar Valdez is going to lie again or finally find his cojones somewhere. Nevertheless, Shakur Stevenson gave his reaction to Oscar Valdez being on steroids, losing, then robbing his opponent, Robson. I guess cheating by taking PEDs wasn't enough to secure Oscar Valdez the win. So they resorted to plan B, which is Robin Robson as well. With that being stated, before the fight even began, Shakur Stevenson said, let's see what this T hitting on. Now to make one thing clear, the herbal T excuse is so pathetic because there is no T in the world that have the drug Funtermine in it. Now that's a fact, which is exactly why Oscar Valdez failed to submit the herbal tea to Vada in order to prove his innocence. He never submitted the herbal tea because he was clearly lying, which makes that excuse of Oscar Valdez testing positive for PEDs more shameful than his actual doing. Furthermore, during the fight, Shakur Stevenson said, wow, shake my head, looking like this about to go left, which is exactly what ended up happening. But since the WBC and the commission already covered up for Oscar Valdez taking PEDs and missing weight, Robin Robson was just the icing on the cake. At this point, the WBC is looking more like a cartel than an organization. It's official, the WBC stands for, we be cheating. That's the World Boxing Corruption Organization for you. Now, the only good thing that's coming out of this whole mess is that the walls are now closing in on Oscar Valdez. He can run like a duck, but he can no longer hide from Shakur Stevenson. I mean, what is Oscar Valdez going to do next after Shakur Stevenson wins the WBO title? 
that Oscar Valdez wanted. Oscar Valdez was calling out hearing heavy. So if Shakur ends up with a title, what is Oscar's new excuse to duck Shakur now? Surely is not fight Robson on an even playing field without PEDs because he already lost to Robson on PEDs. Now that's directly going to put more pressure on Oscar Valdez to fight Shakur Stevenson next. Also, what really did it was Shakur Stevenson calling out Oscar Valdez, his team, and the network, the promoters behind closed doors for protecting Oscar Valdez and showing favoritism. Which is exactly why Shakur Stevenson has to be publicly vocal every time there's a duck around. So the pressure could be applied on these ducks to grow some nuts. And last but not least, Shakur Stevenson has to know that as soon as he start negotiating with Oscar Valdez, VADA and USADA testing must start at that moment in time. And if Valdez turns that down, the public needs to know because that means he's still on PEDs till whenever that day is. See the way PEDs work. Even if a fighter takes VADA testing two months before the fight, they can still get the benefits of PEDs. If you may wonder how, they can be on PEDs for a five month period, then stall negotiations, then cycle off PEDs two months before the fight, that way, they will still get the benefits of PEDs. So VADA is only effective at stopping these cheaters from getting the benefit of PEDs if the testing is year round or if the testing began months before the fight, like three or four months at the very least. Now, even though Shakur Stevenson will smash Oscar Valdez on PEDs or not, nah, fair is fair. The fight needs to be on even playing fields. This is a sport where you can physically kill your opponent. So hopefully Shakur Stevenson is aware of all of the above. With the facts being laid out, I'm going to leave you guys with Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley checking Mark on ESPN for defending a cheater in Oscar Valdez. We spent about an hour on camera. And when it was done, Oscar turned to me and said, do you believe me? So here are the facts. He wanted the VADA testing. He insisted on it. He tested positive in his second test this time, August 12th. It's conceivable that it happened like he thinks it did with some sort of diet tape. Does not get him off the hook. But am I prepared to throw away all the good stuff he did and all the heroism he's had for the past, I don't know how many years, for one test in my heart? No, I'm not. Mark, the question I have for you is: He sh should he be fighting tonight? That's the question I have for Don't you tonight. Don't hold him responsible for the WBC's inconsistencies and cynicism. Mark, anybody else, anybody else, test positive for anything? They're not fighting tonight, and they're fault? also being stripped. Is that his fault? Is it his fault? He's the one that's got the positive test. That's what I'm trying you know to tell I'm you. Saying. No, I know. I don't know what you're saying. That's the positive test that he got. Yes. He shouldn't be allowed to fight tonight. And that's the only problem I have with Tell the WBC, man. So, I already, the WBC already know what, what I, how I feel about him. They already know. Listen, man, the WBC made out. the decision that they, that they made. But we wouldn't be in this position if Oscar Valdez didn't test positive. So we can't we can't keep like moving the goalposts, y'all. It is what it is. Oscar tested positive. Many don't believe that he should be fighting tonight. He is, and we're gonna call this fight just like it would be any other fight. But we gotta let what's happening sit. And you know, I'm I'm a firm believer in Bernardo. You mentioned this earlier in the week about a, a person rehabilitating themselves and getting forgiveness, and I believe that wholeheartedly. But but trust is earned. And Oscar Valdez, it's going to take some time before he builds up the trust with people. And we've seen it happen with his stablemate, Saul Canelo Alvarez. And we've seen it also with Tyson Fury, who's going to be fighting uh, Deontay Wilder in October.